Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. Until last week, the public parking garage near 7th and Walnut Street in Bloomington was only handicap accessible until 8 p.m. After 8, the elevators were turned off, a violation of Americans with Disabilities Act policy. Dan Goldblatt reports. After receiving several inquiries from WTIU, the city began operating the parking garage elevator 24 hours, and the building is now handicapped accessible any time of the day. However, now that the elevator is open around the clock, Bloomington Public Works Director Susie Johnson says they're left with a new problem. Vandals have already struck the garage, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Uh, since the elevator's been back on, it's been vandalized and it was disabled over the weekend, so no one got to use the elevator uh, this weekend. The city is working on a solution to the vandalism. There is a security team in the garage after hours to ensure motorists get to their cars safely, but for now, the elevator remains unattended throughout the night. For WTIU News, I'm Dan Goldblatt. Sidewalk construction and upkeep in Bloomington is causing tension between some residents and city officials. Claire Murphy has more. According to the Bloomington Municipal Code, sidewalks were not required before 1972. This law has led to frustration for families that have no sidewalks along their path to work or their child's school. Shelly Yoder is a mother of three. She has to walk up East 3rd Street and cross College Mall Road to take her son to preschool. My daughter just started kindergarten at university this past fall and we were really disappointed to know that we could not either ride our bicycles or walk there on one continuous sidewalk and that was a problem for us. Bloomington Public Works Director Susie Johnson says the city is not in violation of any regulations because Yoder's neighborhood was established at a time when sidewalks were not required. Typically, sidewalks that uh, neighborhoods that don't have sidewalks were built prior to the requirement of sidewalks being built. So they were just built at a time when sidewalks weren't uh, a city priority. Johnson says there are no plans to add sidewalks in Yoder's neighborhood. She says the money the city has in its budget for sidewalks will be used to build them in areas in dire need. Yoder says she's worried not just about her family, but about the people she feels are in dire need of pavement. Some people rely on walking, as well as some people who have accessibility issues that actually need to have smooth sidewalks. But Johnson says the upkeep of some sidewalks in Bloomington is not the city's responsibility. For WTIU News, I'm Claire Murphy. And to look at your weather tonight, clear lows in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the lower 80s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy, lows in the lower 60s. And let's take a look at your five-day forecast. On Friday, partly cloudy, highs around 90, lows around 70. Saturday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the upper 80s, lows in the upper 60s. Sunday, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s, lows in the lower 60s. Monday, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s, lows in the mid-60s. Tuesday, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the mid-80s, lows in the mid-60s. And for more on these stories and other local news, please visit our website at indianapublicmedia.org.